how to add whatsapp button to squarespace hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how easy it is to create a whatsapp button and link it to the number that you are going to wish to add it to and then add it to our squarespace website it is very easy and very simple all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over squarespace.com then you're going to create an account or sign in for an account in this platform. As you can see, we have here our email address connected to this account. So we are going to click on account dashboard and here we have the dashboard or the admin dashboard. A little disclaimer guys, everything created in this video, such as accounts and email addresses are created for the sake of the video and not for any personal uses. So make sure to use your own information and you are going to be good to go. The first thing here, after you have visited the dashboard, you're going to select one of the websites that you have created. If you have many, make sure that you are going to use the only the functional one and not the expired one because you cannot use them. If you don't have a website yet, I highly recommend for you to click on create website. Then you're going to see this page to help you choose one of the templates or the pre-designed templates from Squarespace. We have only 29 templates. Choose one of them and also you can customize them all of you want. So in my case, I will skip that part. Now we are going to select the website. Here, go to the website. Now we are going to see here the website fully loaded. As you can see here, the process is very smooth and quick. So now we are going to see here the first page. So this is like a portfolio type of a website. I'm going to let you see here how we can do that. Go ahead and set up your website here first. Then you are going to click on edit. Once you have clicked on edit, you are going to add here the WhatsApp button. How we can do that? Simple choose right here the place that you want to add it to for example here we are going to add it to this specific area now we are going to add a new block here click on add block on the specific section but before that i am going to let you see here the integration that will help us to create the widget to add it right away so we are going to head over elf site elf site is a platform that will help you create tons and tons of widgets without coding and the final step or the final here uh, process after you have created or selected the widget that you want to add it to your website you're going to add it as a code so now we are on here elf site go ahead and create an account in this platform then select widgets on widgets right here you can see here that we have all categories go ahead here and search for the uh, category that we are going to add it. Here we have, for example, chats. Here we need a, a WhatsApp chat button. So we are going to head over chats and see here what do we have. All in one, Facebook, Instagram, Line, Telegram, Viber, and the bestseller, which is WhatsApp chat. We're going to select WhatsApp chat. Then we are going to create it for free. So make sure that you are going to create that widget. So here we have the addition of the widget compartment. We have here the widget reviewer. So we are going to see here a fully functional widget. And also you can see here the templates that you can choose from them. So we are going to let you see here all of the templates that we have. We have some color changement. We have some message fields. We have some messenger looking like fields. And also the standard WhatsApp here button. So I'm going to use this one. Now we have a lot, so you can go ahead and use one of these, but I'm going to satisfy myself with this. Now the next step is to connect here the WhatsApp number or the link. For example, I'm going to put here a random number like that. So we are going to add over the content. This is an or normally a a random number you can or you must here add your number that you want to receive the message on so once you have did that you're going to switch over the content 
here we have the bubble icon you can see here the bubble icon you can go ahead and choose it from the library we have they have a lot and for the specific whatsapp they have the same you can add for example a text or bubble text you can choose here the picture for the chat window this one for example this personality you can name it for example jane here they have gave it a random name you can add a the caption here online reply on time custom and etc you can also add a welcome message so here for the start chat method you can go ahead and put it here start chat button or send a message it's up to you you can also include a page url in the message so once you have finished the content you can go ahead and uh, here see all the settings for example the position here we have the chat display settings we have also the open chat triggers and notification now let's head over the appearances we have the color appearance we have the bubble icon color bubble notification batch color and etc so here i'm not going to modify anything here i'm only going to add it to the website but after a long thinking i'm going to add or modify the background of it so make sure to add it to something more clear so let's go ahead and add it to something like this maybe this may be better so i'm going to click on add to website finally it will be adding or saving the widget right away now we have it created we have here the fully functional button we're going to click on close now it will show up here of the whatsapp button we're going to click on install once you have clicked on install you're going to select only the embed code for squarespace it depends on the provider or website provider that you are going to use for example if you are going to use canva you're going to use only the share link because canva will not allow you to add an embed code so we are going to copy this embed code head over right here at squarespace again click on add block now we are going to click on embed or you can go ahead and obviously click on code once you have clicked on code you are going to place it right here so we are going to place it wherever we want i'm going to place it here at the end of the page for example i'm going only to give it that little space or we can go ahead and give it much space to not confuse ourselves or our clients with some other here steps so i'm going to make sure that it is bigger i'm going to double tap on the window then we are going simply to paste the code right here so we are going to put this window away i'm going to preview it in a safe mode and boom here we have the chat or the whatsapp button it is fully functional so whenever a person click on it it will pop up here the um the chat message and you will receive it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one